y'all welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be i kind of wanted to be a um like come along with me to my appointments um i don't know it's it's gonna be a vlog honey it's gonna be a vlog i'm starting it on sunday i have three days off it's actually 10 40 at night right now and if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave i'm actually about to cook um some air fried chicken and macaroni just really quick um like i said it's 10 41 i do have a shein sponsored video to finish editing i just got done recording it um that's why all this random stuff is back here but yeah go check it out it is going to be up before this one um it's definitely last minute the vlog is the deadline for this to go up is tomorrow i completely forgot about it with the moving and stuff like that so hopefully they still want to work with me i'm so sorry she did. but yeah i'm about to um cook prince is definitely always over here in the cut i literally couldn't even finish the freaking thing as fast as i wanted to because he kept just jumping up on me but i wanted to start it and give y'all a proper welcoming into where i look presentable because i've been looking a little mess on these vlogs and baby i just have to let y'all know like your girl can be cute okay <laughs> But I'm about to cook. Um, okay, it's clean. Yes. This is the air fryer I have. I have the instant vortex. So I'm about to preheat this. I forgot what I cooked this on last time. So I'm going to be back when I figure it out. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waiting. There's so many cars here, but they're closed. They must be having a meeting or something. Okay. So I just left the bank. Um, excuse my hair. <laughs> I literally just woke up and brushed it. Um, I get my hair done tomorrow. I just left the bank. I took out $180 because I have to um get my hair done tomorrow i'm getting a closure sew in i want just a regular closure sew in um i selected closure lace closure sew in with the no baby hairs and i just i'm just not a baby hair type of girl you know like i'll do it for like a wee review or something but other than that like on a normal i don't want all that i hate frontals so yeah um paige is doing my hair i've been going to paige since 2014 um so i want her to do my sew-in how she used to do them back then like before everybody really got on baby hair i went to target yesterday me nikki came over um i wanted to vlog every day this week for like a true weekly vlog but i didn't even pick up the camera yesterday because i was trying to get out my new intro so you guys should have already seen that in my last vlog well my last like two vlogs in this one um me and nikki did go to target yesterday i just picked up a few things that i needed um i haven't had shaving cream in about like two months i've just been using um like my body wash and stuff like that to shave my legs um but this is the one i picked up it smells really good i see a lot of people use this on youtube i think mm, it smells really good i can't wait to use it it's pomegranate and raspberry so i got that one and razors i'm not a picky razor person as long as the razor is like thick like that and like oval i love any blades that's like that so got that and then i just got some more um marcellar micellar water the makeup remover um i don't care if it's name brand or off brand the name brand is garnier but whatever it all works the same so that's all i got from there i did go to walmart yesterday too um I already put that stuff up it's at the house so i'm just gonna have to go home and show y'all that but what time is it it's 4 23 i do need a feel and one of my nails broke so i was gonna go do that but where i'm at right now it's busy like it's 4 24 where i live we have five o'clock traffic i don't know about y'all um sometimes we have like the lunch hour rush traffic too but for sure 
We have five o'clock traffic. I do need to clean up my car. My car is nasty and I need a car wash. Let me look up a car wash real quick. All right, so I am at the car wash. <laughs> I go to um, I go to any like zip car wash around here, but um, yeah, this is how I was looking. Bay did that. Um, out in you. <laughs> he stepped in mud and got my car all muddy. The fries and stuff is definitely for me. The back is got stuff. This needs to get done, and my trash can back there needs to be emptied and stuff like that. Um, my floor just needs to be vacuumed. So. Yeah, I'm about to handle all that. And I may get my car, I was gonna get my car washed, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I think I'm just gonna wait. And it's like dusty and stuff up here. So I'm gonna like clean everything. Oh, you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Maybe got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every G, God forbid. Heard you got the paddock on my wrist, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush It's cool, man Got red bottles on Life is good <laughs> The few other things that I bought from Walmart that I can remember are just some more vitamins. This is the melatonin that I take. I like the Vitafusion brand. And then the hair, skin, and nails vitamins. This is the Spring Valley is the brand I used to buy when I used to work at Big Lots like two years ago. And then they just like stopped carrying them or we just couldn't get them in because of COVID. So then I went to Walmart and I bought the hair, skin, and nails vitamins that's um, like pink and purple that everyone uses. Um, I use those I like them but it's just these are the ones that I had first started off with so these are the ones that I like to take and I forgot to take them today so you're supposed to take two these are how they look the um, flavor is strawberry there's 60 in these I gotta get used to taking this again because I'm used to the other taste but the other thing that I bought that I know I bought and wanted to show you and talk about was the honey pot wash um not the one like right here so not the one that has the foam pump because i absolutely hate that one um that one always stops working within like three uses um i did a shop for me for like my hygiene products video in my last place um so about a month or two ago give or take and y'all were like you know Talking about the Summer's Eve that I got, it's back there. I've been using that since high school, but I do like Honey Pot. I never said I didn't like Honey Pot. I did. I said I didn't like them, but I said I didn't like them because of their foaming nozzle would get stuck and it'll stop working after like the third try. So they have another wash that's just like it, but it's in like the um, this bottle. So I absolutely love that, obviously squirt it out it lathers up pretty good so i'm super excited i guess they got different kinds um this is the only one that i saw and i'm gonna look online and see if they got some different ones so yeah um i'm excited about that 
I just wanted to tell y'all that because y'all were telling me to use honeypot and not Summer's Eve. And I'm like, I don't like honeypot because it also doesn't work, girl. So I'm about to take this little boy out. <laughs> He's insane. <laughs> and then I'm going to put up my little few items from Target. Um, the video that I was trying to hear and post today wasn't even supposed to go up today. It was supposed to go up Thursday, but whatever. I'm not going to give y'all a vlog until next week now. <laughs> but I'm going to finish cleaning up and I'm going to have to dye my hair. Let me see if I remember where I put it. From Amazon, I think I told y'all it was cheaper on Amazon than going to like Sally's Beauty Supply. Because Sally's for one box is $8.79. Amazon had a pack of two and a pack of three, depending on which color you need it, for $14.85. Like so this is what I always use when y'all see me with burgundy red hair. My absolute favorite brand. I do not have to bleach hair or anything. You just put this on the hair and it literally colors it, as long as your hair is pretty good quality. <laughs> so I got three of the reds. And then I got two magentas. So that's five boxes total. Um, my longest bundle, I believe, is 22 inches or 24. That's 20. Maybe it may be 20. That's 16. That's 22. Okay, so my longest bundle is definitely 22 inches. And I have a closure. So I'm probably going to use all five boxes. Yeah, definitely going to use all five boxes because that's a lot of hair. So, yeah, I'm going to take him out. We're going to come back, bleach this hair, and then I'm going to um, clean up and I guess wait on Nikki. Um, that's not really much I have to do. I got to go to work tomorrow. So, I accomplished everything I needed to do on my off days. So, I'm going to finally hang this up. That's what Nikki gave me. So I'm about to bleach my, my hair is like sticking up. <laughs> I'm about to bleach my hair and I had to lay this down because obviously my floors are like gray and white, really, really light. And I'm about to dye hair red, <laughs> not me any mishap. So I just bust these open, put down the home good ones. And then I put an actual trash bag on top of the home good ones because I like to comb through the hair and combing through, I know it's probably gonna go through this, so. I'm gonna bleach it on this side and then I'm gonna put them on the side of this, like double that, so they could just rest over there. And then I'll probably pick them up and put them on the counter by the sink so I can like get all of this mess up. But 
I forgot, well I thought, I didn't forget. I thought I had um, 40 volume developer. I only have a little bit left in here, a little bit left in here that needs to be turned. And then I have a full thing of 20 and then I have a small thing of 30. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to leave this on for about like three hours because the processing time with 20 volume developer is like really low. This says to use it with um, 30 or 40. If your client's hair is relaxed, use 20. And it takes about 30 minutes at room temperature, but I'm gonna leave it on for a minute. Like two hours. hop on and give you guys a honest review i got my hair installed on march 30th so next saturday will make a full month i wanted to actually wear the hair to see how well it holds a curl i flat ironed it i shampooed and conditioned it and i also re um curled it and flat ironed it so this is how it's looking after a month i'm about to take this down literally tonight or tomorrow because as you can see my real hair is peeking through my natural hair grows extremely fast so now i'm not able to really keep in sew-ins as long as i used to i used to keep them in about two to three months and it's not even been a complete month and my hair is already looking like that so this is coming out but the hair itself is super cute this hair was originally black they did send over their hd lace closure i believe i have in a five by five so i bleached the knots um my hairstylist plucked a little bit and i'm not sure what length they sent i can't find the exact email that me and the lady was talking about but i did record me dyeing this hair so i do have the links on that cut of the video but they sent me three bundles in a closure i think my longest bundle is like 22 inches um the hair was originally black like i said and i did dye it burgundy i used the l'oreal highlight color in red and magenta i use like six boxes so if you have long hair i don't recommend doing it if you have long hair i don't recommend doing it that way but it's a better alternative than bleaching the hair because i didn't want to over process the hair so super cute and i also wanted to mention the hair came i believe usps and this is the little bag that it came in it didn't come in a box it just came in a little bag that you can store the hair in when you get done using it whether you make it into a wig or sew it in like me i'm going to put the hair back into the bag and maybe use it later but these are the bag of goodies that you will receive so let's see what they gave me they gave me one two three Ooh, these are nice and what is this okay anyways they gave a pack of four hair clips and these are like the really good ones like these are nice okay i think this goes in between that Woo. and the i think it only came with three things i want to say that it came with the um comb but i already took the comb out and started using it <laughs> so this is just a cute little pink scarf so if you want to tie down your edges or use it as a bandana type thing and then tie down your hair i used one like this last night so when i'm around the house i like to tie it down like this and wear it and then they gave a pack of lashes so that's all that you will get when you receive the hair um i honestly really like the hair um not minding the fact that my hair grows out so quick so it doesn't look as good anymore but the hair itself is pretty good i just put a few loose curls in it and i've just been using oil and then a little bit of oil sheen to keep the curls set so i like it hey y'all i just woke up it's um march 31st so the last day of march 
it's thursday and i got my hair done yesterday i did want to vlog and take y'all with me but yesterday was a lot like i was there for a very long time and i had to like dye my closure there at my appointment um she had me bleaching my knots like it was just a whole lot going on and keep in mind i've been going to her since 2014 so it's like she's family so like don't get it twisted <laughs> you know like it's cool um we've been doing this for a while now <laughs> together so it was i was only her i was her only client yesterday too so that worked out pretty well we was just both thrown for a loop because she thought i was coming for a silk out and <laughs> i was coming for a sew in so yeah it was just it was so funny though so i did this little thingy that i bought maybe like four to five months ago from um amazon when this went viral on tiktok i remember this one um black girl she was using it on her actual like natural hair so i decided to put it in as you can see it kind of fell this one isn't the one that's like a flexi rod because you know flexi rods keep its shape when you like twist it so this one is not much of a flexi rod like it's just a rod so if you turn it it's not going to stay and you know flexi rods if you bend it it's going to stay in that place so i don't really know how this is going to look and i really don't have nowhere to put y'all because y'all i do not need my camera falling okay i'm just going to set y'all up right here this is a horrible angle i know So this is the curls though. Let me get a little oil. It's the one I use. I gotta go to work, it's 5.30. So I need to be taking prints out right now. <laughs> I especially like the flexi rods and those things because you don't have to put heat on your hair so it definitely protects your hair so yeah this is it I may or may not flatter on the top but I mean I'm literally going to work and it's probably going to be put up anyway so I'm not really too messed up about it <laughs> literally don't even know how this happened like <laughs> yeah. and it's completely stuck how did this even spill i haven't even ate this used this or anything like this is a complete mess know where i left off in this vlog but today is easter um april the 17th so whoa why did it just get like super bright out of nowhere okay so i am about to finally finish unpacking my vanity um as you as you see i think i i don't know if i included it in this vlog or not but um I switched my vanity out of my bedroom to the living room so it's back behind me um 
I may show how I moved everything either in this vlog or the next one. Um, I gotta clean up, so I'm gonna clean up tomorrow and then I'll probably show you guys how I set everything up and changed it around. I think I did show it already in this vlog though. But I'm about to clean out all of my little clear acrylic container thingies and I'm about to just put all my makeup and everything in the proper drawer that they belong in. I wanted to hop on really quickly because I did just get a DM from a girl I think maybe a day or two ago whenever I had posted my vanity on my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and go do that it is underscore Akira with three A's at the end of my name but she asked me to do a video on where I got my vanity from I did do a video a long time ago when I got it in like 2019 but you see me putting up the back piece for the um whatever i put the light bulbs in i don't really know what this is called but that is from amazon it came in a two pack my actual mirror is from a glass shop i actually went to go get a mirror cut out i gave them the dimensions that i wanted and they cut it out perfectly that was only 50 dollars, and it is a very very thick glass the other videos that I used to watch on YouTube back in like 2019, they would just go to like Lowe's or somewhere and get a cheap glass for like $15, $20. But the guy at Lowe's, he actually told me, don't get this glass, like go somewhere else and get this. So I did. And my actual vanity like table, I guess you can say, or desk, I made. The top part of it is actually just the closet shelf from either Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember which one. And then the actual like... They're like the Ikea, like, what is it called? The Alexa shelves. Um, I bought those from Michaels and Michaels always have like a 20% off coupon. So I definitely recommend going to your local Michaels, looking at the coupon and getting those drawers. Unless you just want to splurge and get the stuff from Ikea, you can. And the actual light bulbs, those are from Lowe's also. Um, I just bought the ones that I like. Um, and yeah, that's where my vanity is from. And I built it myself, put everything together. As you can see, I do it every time I move and I just do it all myself.